Good evening. I'm Father Charlie Mayer, acting priest in charge of the Sister Episcopal Parishes in Ossining. Welcome to this service of Compline for Monday evening in this season of Ordinary Time. The service is found on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you <clears throat> in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue with Psalm 31. <clears throat> In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, <clears throat> a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net <clears throat> that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. And on page 131, we read Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We continue now with our gospel reading for this evening. This is from the fourth chapter of Mark, beginning with the first verse. Again he began to teach beside the sea. Such a very large crowd <clears throat> gathered around him that he got into a boat on the sea and sat there while the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. He began to teach them many things in parables, and in his teaching he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and it sprang up quickly, since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. Other seed fell into good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. And he said, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. When he was alone, those who were, were around him, along with the twelve, asked him about the parables. And he said to them, 
To you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God. But for those outside, everything comes in parables, in order that they may indeed look, but not perceive, and may indeed listen, but not understand, so that they may not turn again and be forgiven. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word that is sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground. When they hear the word, they immediately receive it with joy. But they have no root and endure only for a while. Then, when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. And others are those sown among the thorns. These are the ones who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth and the desire for other things come in and choke the word, and it yields nothing. And these are the ones sown on the good soil. They hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is such a marvelous parable. For me, it's one of the most important teachings of Jesus because it reminds us that having exposure to the Word of God is not enough to ensure <clears throat> that we will internalize it and live it out. Much can come in the way of it. There can be <clears throat> simply inattention. We have a kind of a dim awareness of the word, but aren't really paying attention to it. And honestly, I think that's some large portion of, of society that might identify in some way as, as Christian. Um, but the awareness of what it means to engage the word of God is, is, is minimal. Then there are those who do engage the word, but are then overwhelmed by the distractions of the world, by busyness, by the pursuit of wealth, by the pursuit of achievement. There are so many things that can distract us from the word. So what is it that allows the word to stick, so to speak, to stay with us, to grow within us, to begin to fill us and shape us? And I think in very large part, there are two main things that allow that to happen. One is personal disciplines of prayer and scripture reading. The discipline of, of the daily office is a very, very good one. <clears throat> Ways of making sure that we are staying engaged, that we are in the habit of engaging the word. And then I think there's being in community, a community of love and care and faith that is working together to embody the word, to live it out, to express it, to show it to the world, to be it for the world. And my prayer is that that is the experience that we are having 
in our Asaning Episcopal Church. That we may be, each of us, engaged in personal disciplines that allow us to be forming more and more into the image of Christ. And then coming together to live that out together, to express that together as Christians in this community that we love. And I pray that as we are beginning a new thing together, as, as a brand new parish of two wonderful parishes that have come together, that we may live this out, model it for the community. This is what it is to be people formed in the Word, and this is what a community formed in the Word does in the world. May God give us grace to be this parish for our community. Amen. We will continue in the middle of page 132. Excuse me for one moment. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue now in silent prayer. And now we offer our parish prayers for Monday for Faith, Betty, Karen, Bill, Aileen, Father Pridemore, Alicia, Kathleen, Jean, and Jean, Teresa, Henry, Chuck, Isaiah, Christine, Roger, Samantha, Dan, Catherine, Anya, Katrina, Tina, Rick, Richard, Dorothy, Frank, Kevin, Barbara, the victims of violence in Afghanistan, Noel, Lydia, Juan, Marty, and Jim. For our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, 
Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Tenku, Pablo, Marco, and Anthony, and for those who have died, especially John Schaefer. Hear the prayers of your people, O oh Lord. We lift them up to you with thanksgiving for all you have done for us. We ask that you would continue to deepen each of us in our personal formation in Christ and to deepen the formation of our parish community in the expression of who Jesus is for our community. We pray in his name. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us. Amen.